evening. Good evening, Maria Luz. Hi. How are you? Hi, thanks. How about you? Very good. I'm doing really, really good. Hi. <laughs> Hi, good evening. Hi, good hey. evening. I'm gonna send a message to WhatsApp to the WhatsApp group because I don't know. Seems like yes, I am in WhatsApp group. Yeah. It's about your explanation. Okay. Okay. The message, the group. Yeah, I'm sending a message in this moment because I don't know. Maybe I only have two students today, so I'm sending a message to remind them that we have classes today. Even though it's Friday, we have classes today, right? So I'm reminding them that we have classes. Just wait a second. So I don't know. Adriana is coming. Okay, anyways, so we're gonna start, even though your classmates are not here, because we need to practice, right? And we need to study. So thank you very much for being punctual and for being here, even though it's Friday. And I know usually we don't have classes on Fridays, but just this time, because, you know, we started yesterday the classes. So it's better if we do two days instead of just doing one day and then waiting for the next week, right? Um, I hope that more class, more of your classmates connect today to the class, but if they don't do it, we can do the class, just the four of us. Okay, so welcome to the class. And I really appreciate that you are here, Marielos, Miguel and Adriana, because that shows that you are really, really motivated to learn English and that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna start here by asking you if you can write and send me the date to the chat. Send me to date, date to the chat. Remember to send it privately, okay? Excellent, Adriana. Thank you. Chief. Let me see. Oh yeah, <laughs> you you are living in the future, Adriana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, teacher. You want you want it to be Saturday already? Yeah, the weekend. Uh -huh. Okay, Marielos, what happened? First, we write the month yes. and then the date, right? <laughs> yes, I was I was thinking in Spanish, okay. Oh, Excuse you were thinking, me. okay. You were thinking in Spanish, yes, maybe. Another that's... one, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do it again, don't worry. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. We are thinking in Spanish and then we're thinking in English and that happens. Okay. Welcome to the class, Nelsi Santos. Thank you for being here.
Hello, Nelsi. Hello, everybody. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teachers. Nice to meet you. Yes, very good. And thank you, Luis Aguilar, also for being here in the class. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that you connected today to the class because I know that some people can be like, yeah, it's Friday. We don't have classes on Fridays. But yes, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Anyways, yeah, we're connecting. You see, we, we have more people. I'm happy. Now I'm happy because we have more people right now. Excellent. Perfect. That's what I look like. Okay. Let me see. Yes, now it's correct, Marielos. Thank you very much. Now it's correct. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to start here by sharing my screen and we're going to start with the class. Wait a second. Okay, so the class for today, well, the date for today, as you write it on the, in, in the chat, is this one, like Friday, February 25th, 2022. And we're going to continue with the topic describing problems. The one that we watched yesterday in the video, describing problems in number two. This is the class number two, pre-advanced two. And as you know already, my name is Diana Sayas. And now I want to ask you, yesterday we watched a video and the video was about some problems in a hotel room. Do you remember? Yes? Yes. 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 Perfect. So about that video, we were making some sentences using the past participle to describe um, or, or to, to, to describe as adjectives. So do you have the sentences that I asked you to write yesterday? Do you have the sentences? Like the, I don't know, the window was stuck or something like that? ¿Tienen las oraciones? Do you have them? Um. No. No. Okay, Adriana and the rest of say yes. Okay, so Adriana, tell me some examples. Okay. I heard uh, the sentence. They were cracked. Okay. Another one, the step floor is loose. Mm -hmm. And Another phrase that says, um, the window, a window they needs to be fixed. Needs to be fixed. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Adriana. Uh, does someone else have other sentences? No? Okay. We're gonna... Oh my God, estamos escuchando ahí atrás un concierto, un culto o algo. You were listening something in the background, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go right now with um, a question. We're, have a con we're gonna have a conversation practice in this moment. So this is the conversation practice. When we go to hotels, restaurants, any other places, we find different problems, maybe. For example, here in El Salvador, it's pretty common, like for example, if you go to places like Olocuilta or Comedores, así, like in the street, the bathrooms for the toilets, they are broken or they are in bad shape. For example, they don't have water and you have to use a recipient to bring water to the toilet. So that's a problem that may happen in some restaurant, like some, they are not restaurants, but like street restaurants. So I'm asking you in this moment, what are some problems you have experienced when visiting a restaurant or a hotel? What 
were some problems that you found in that moment? And you can use the structure we, le structure we learned yesterday that was about um, the window is broken, the phone needs to be fixed and things like that. So in this moment, I want you to think about those experiences you have had in different restaurants or hotels and then share your uh, experiences with your classmates. So if you can take a screenshot of the question or maybe um, write the question so you can go to the breaker rooms and have some, I don't, I don't know, share some ideas and have this conversation with your classmates. So take a screenshot or write the, step, the question. So what are some problems you have experienced when visiting visiting a restaurant or a hotel. I have a question, guys. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, I understand. Okay, no, I'm yes. asking you because I don't know if my internet is slow or something like that. So that's why I'm asking. But you can see me and hear me just fine. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So did you understand the activity we're going to do right now? Yeah? Okay, perfect. So let's go and ask this question to your classmates and talk about the problems we have had maybe in restaurants, maybe in hotels, in different places, right? Okay, let me see. Remember, guys. Oh, I, I can repeat. Of course, I can repeat. It's, you need to go and discuss the question. Necesitan eh, the question that I asked you there, um, this one. You need to answer this question, okay? So this is what we're going to do. We're gonna answer this question. And we're gonna talk about different problems or we have, visiting what we had when we visited a restaurant or a hotel. Maybe in the restaurant, um, the table was dirty, okay? Or the table was broken, the chair was loose, something like that. Different problems you have had when visiting different places. That's what I'm asking in this moment. Is the activity clear now? You are just going to share, okay? Just going to share your experiences. And guys, please, les pido por favor, because yesterday when I went to the breakout rooms, some people were quiet and you were not practicing, okay? So I need you to go and practice. This is your moment to speak. I can speak here and I can speak English a lot, but this is your moment to go and practice. So take turns, hear your classmates speak when it's your turn. And if the activity is over and you say, hey, like we finished teacher. No, just keep on speaking. This is your moment to go and practice, okay? So we have an example, like the example okay, that Miguel sent. Okay, let's see. Let's go there.
when visiting, when visiting, visiting restaurant or uh, or a, a hotel. Okay. Yes, I have some time, some uh, experience. <laughs> One of them is uh, when I go to, to eat the uh, pupusas restaurant. And I never opened the pupusa for the for the mitad, ever left. And but this day I don't know why, but I do that. I did that when I see uh, the pupusa have had a, a fly, <laughs> but fly. <laughs> it's very very bad. And... <laughs> And did you did you say Very something bad. about it, Jose? Yes, I said uh, the where the pusa had a fly, and I stopped to eat. <laughs> and I uh, but you didn't eat the pupusa, or did you buy the pupusa? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Good thing. <laughs> but, but good thing. But, but but you you don't pay the for the black fly. <laughs> <laughs> for the fly, no. <laughs> Okay. That's his appearance. And yeah, air conditioner on. Uh, the this didn't work well. And finally, I could see that the, the windows were were broken. So we were uh, afraid of a parking right in that moment. So it was a very bad um like a but a very bad, I don't know how to say this, um, experience, right? For, for me and my family. Where was that, so Adriana? We, we promised not to, huh? A very bad experience? No, but where? Where was the to, place to when, when you had the, the, that experience? Ah. Okay, it, it was a resort in Amateur Camp. Ah, okay. Yeah. So we we promise not to uh, back there. <laughs> okay. Uh, you are not telling us the little piece of the movie we were. Uh, the 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 table the table. Uh, was damaged and um, and the food no was the healthy um, I remember that uh, in uh, I don't know how do you say that yeah okay <laughs> how do you <laughs> say what Mariana pupuseria okay Oh, pupusería. How do you say pupusería? No, pupusería is a yeah, proper name. Pupusería. Okay. I remember when I went to, to the pupusería and, and the, I don't know how to say curtido. Curtido is another proper name. You can say cabbage. Se puede decir como cabbage. Cabbage, okay. que cabbage, cabbage is como... Cabbage. Yeah. Yes, in the cabbage, I... I...
So your classmates don't want to come here to the class. What are they doing? They are talking about the experiences. Okay. So yes, I know we have a lot of experiences like when going to restaurants or to hotels and they are just, I don't know, they, there are so many problems. The, the most common one was this one like, um, like when the food is ruined. Mm -hmm. So you have problems with the food, the food is ruined or the food has problems. For example, when you find hair in the food or when you find a fly, like, like in Jose Manuel's case, like he found a fly in the food. And Marielos, I thought you, you found a fly too, right? No, I, I cannot hear you. Your microphone is off. No, I'm not saying that. Pata, to cook porridge. Okay. You found yeah. you found a cockroach. Cockroach, but I mean, um, I don't know. La pata una cucaracha. Yes, Le yes, but in cockroach. the cockroach. Oh. Cockroach. In the cabbage. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I, I know those things can be really, 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 really bad. Yeah, and, and I know those that's like the most common scenario, like when you find um, something in the food. Something happened to me, not actually that I found something in the food, but there is this really, really, really famous place to eat pupusas here in the place where I live. And many people go there and they all like everybody wants to go there and it's always full so once i was there and i went to the bathroom ah it gives me a stomach ache every time i think about it and i went to the bathroom right when i was going to the bathroom near the place where they had the tomato sauce i saw a little rat dead and i was like if there is a little rat there, it means that there are a lot of rats. So there's like many, many brothers and sisters. <laughs> and I was like, oh, since that day, I don't go to that place anymore. And, and in every time people buy it, pupusas there, I'm like, Ugh. because all that I can think of is about that little rat like this. It was so little, oh, disgusting. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to think about it because I just had my, my dinner before the class and I'm going to puke <laughs> if I keep thinking about it. Okay, anyways, so yes, we have different problems and I'm going to show you here a conversation that you have in the, in the platform. But now we're going to listen to this conversation because I need you to pay attention to a specific structure. So we can report problems by using the verb to be and the verb to be and also the verbs in the past participle. But in this case, we're gonna use the gerunds to report problems that you can use with, uh, with needs and also keeps. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share the screen, the screen with you. So we can listen to the conversation, also practice the conversation. And all right, so here we are. Can you can you see my my screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. Page 38. Exercise six. Conversation. It keeps burning. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hello, Ms. Locke. This is Jack Burr. Um, Mr. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Yo veo los videos en uno por, uno por cinco y estaba bien rápido. Iba bien rápido, no me he dado cuenta. Ah, se tiene que ir. Sorry about that. Hello? Hello, Ms. Locke. This is Jack Burr. Um, uh, Mr. Burr? In apartment 305. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Really? Okay, 
I'll have someone look at it right away. Thanks a lot, Ms. Locke. Uh, by the way, Mr. Burr, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? Listen to... That conversation we're going to practice. But right now, I need you to listen to the rest of the conversation to answer some questions. This is just listening because you won't see the, the letters or the conversation, the, the transcription of the conversation. So just listen that I'm going to ask you a question about this following conversation. To another tenant calling Ms. Locke. What's the tenant's problem? So you hear we're gonna answer what is the tenant's problem? Another tenant, uh, some, do you know what is tenant? Nope, they are, son los que ocupan los apartamentos. So the people who live in the apartments, so they are the tenants. So this is another tenant and you're gonna answer what is the problem that this tenant has? Hello? Hello, is this the manager? Yes, this is Ms. Locke. This is Lula Harris in apartment 216. Yes, how can I help you, Mrs. Harris? I'm having a problem with the electricity. What sort of problem with the electricity? Well, it keeps going off and coming back on again. I see. Is it just the lights or is it the appliances too? Let me check. No, the refrigerator is okay, so it must be just the lights. I guess the fuse box needs to be checked. I'll come up and take a look at it right away. So what is the problem in the second conversation, guys? The lights? The electricity, okay. But she said that the refrigerator is okay or not okay? The first? It's okay, right? It's okay. And so the only problem are the fusel or, or the, the box, fusel box, I think she said, right? On the lights, about the lights. Okay. Wait a second. Que se me juntan los, los audios y ya no puedo escuchar. So, okay, it's okay now. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to practice this conversation. You have it in the platform, but if you want to, you can take a screenshot right now. So, hello, hello, Miss Locke. This is Jack Burr. Um, Mr. Burr in apartment 305, or 305, I mean. Oh, yes, what can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Really? Okay, I'll have someone look at it right away. Thanks a lot, Miss Luck. Um, by the way, Mr. Burr, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? Okay, so we're going to practice this conversation in this moment. Okay, yes? You ready? Yes. Perfect. So we're going to practice the conversation really quick. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go in groups of two. Oh, Marcos, are you here? Welcome, Marcos, to the class. Hello, Miss. Welcome. Uh, I say. Oh, you're connected, so you cannot participate in the class. Only listening. Oh, only listening. Okay. So the group where Marcos is going to be, he's just gonna be a listener. Listener. Okay. Let's go. Okay.
Les mandé ahí las invitaciones, Henry y Ernesto, por favor acepten para ir a los break rooms, please. Yeah. Yeah, I was in a piece of paper. That's okay. the reason I was not joining at the time. Henry? Henry? Are you there? <coughs> Adriana, I'm sorry. Eh, se suponía que Henry iba a ser su compañero, pero no se pudo conectar. I don't know why. So, I don't know if Henry is there. Henry está ahí, si me puede contestar. Si no, voy a mandar a Adriana en otro room. Maybe. Porque si no me contesta el compañero. Ok, I'm going to send you to break our room three. Ok, Adriana. Take turns there. Enri, no puedo escucharle aquí en la, en la sala. No sé si está por acá, Enri, o qué es lo que ha pasado.
Ahí le mando con otra compañera, Lorena. Yo sé que estaba sola. Hello. I'm sorry, I left. Once we are in the breaker room, so they connect them a lot. You go a lot of.
Okay, perfect. Now, I want two people right now to do this conversation here. So let's see. Um, Adriana and let me see. I have just a few participants today. That's weird. Okay, Adriana and Luis. Okay. Okay, teacher. So Adriana, you're gonna be uh Miss Locke and Luis, you're gonna be Mr. Bird. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Hello. Yes. Hello, Mr. Locke. This is Jack Bor. Uh, Mr. Bor. In the apartment, uh, three hundred five. Oh yeah. What can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No. It's the oven this time. Oh. So what's wrong with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The kids burning everything I try to cook. Really? Okay, I have someone look at it right away. Thanks a lot, Mr. Luck. Miss Luck. Mm, by the way, Mr. Bourne. Are you sure it is the oven and not your cooking? <laughs> okay, excellent. And here is funny because she's saying like he's really bad at cooking, right? Not not that his oven is bad. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you, Luis. Thank you very much. And thank you, Adriana, as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. If you can see in this conversation, guys, okay, if you can see here, we have see here so we have at uh, this part let me okay need fixing along with it i think temperature needs to be adjusted keeps burning keeps burning okay in those two we use the verb need as a main verb and this one we use it keeps as a main verb then the next verb that is next to need or keep, it's in the gerund form with the ing. Can you see that? No, you cannot see that. Like right before here, you see it burning. So yes. we use the ing form basically to give the action to the next verb. Because when we have two verbs together, one verb has an action and the other verb needs to have the action. Sometimes we use the infinitive to do so, and sometimes we use the ing form. But in this moment, let me share with you presentation where you can five, find information about this. Wait a second. Wait a minute. There we go. Here. So describing problems too. A gerund follows the verb keep when it refers to a repetitive action. It's something that is keeps going, keeps, it just keep going, keep going and keep going. If you see right now, I'm using keep and going. So this is an action that is a repetitive action. In a gerund also follows the verb need. Need with the passive means the same thing. So something that needs adjusting, necesita ser reparado, needs adjusting. And something that keep, keeps burning, the example that we just saw. So keep plus the gerund to give action to the second verb, as we saw it here, needs plus adjusting. So basically, the German gives an action to the second verb. Does it make sense for you guys? Is it, is it, is it understandable or not? Si me están siguiendo? Is it that clear or not? <laughs> I understand. Yes, clear as the water. Again, it's 
when we have two verbs together, usually the second verb needs, needs to have the action. So sometimes we give the action by using the infinitive to, or we use the ing form. That means the gerund. For example, what here is the, the passive infinitive. Remember, we, we were just talking about. So everything keeps burning. So this is a burn is like quemarse. So we also need this to have ing. So everything keeps burning. The alarm keeps going off. The oven needs adjusting. Necesita ser ajustado. But in this case, we're not gonna use another verb. So just needs adjusting. The alarm needs fixing. And here in this final example, need plus the passive, passive infinitive. For example, the ones that we were looking at yesterday, that we use the, the passive voice, what I mean the past participle, to describe that something is somehow ruined. It needs to be adjusted, okay? The, for example, the window is broken. It needs to be fixed. Or the steps are loose. They need to be adjusted. That's when we use this infinitive. And of course, we use need or needs. Then the verb to be in the base form, the infinitive form. And then we use the passive voice, the past participle. So let's try to do some examples here. Write sentences about what has to be done in the apartment using need with gerunds or passive infinitives. So the walls, what do you think it's the sentence in this case? The walls paint, they need. So the walls what? The walls need mm -hmm. painting. Painting. Yes, we can use this one and we can say the walls need painting or or we can also say the walls need to be painted. Painted, okay. Right? We can use both. Both, yes. both, both, both examples are correct in this case. In this one, we're using the infinitive and this, I mean, in this one, we're using the gerund and in this one, we're using the infinitive as you can see. And the verb here, the final verb, in this case, it's an adjective, like we were looking at yesterday. The rock, what do you think is the example for the rock? The rock, in this case, it's needs, right? Yes. Because it's eating. Cleaning. Okay. Needs cleaning or? Need to the be. The rock needs to be cleaned. cleaned. The rock cleaned. needs I'm sorry. Clean. Needs to be clean. Okay. The number three and the number four, please try to do it and send it to the chat in this moment. Okay. Is cleaned? No, not clean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cleaned. Sorry about that. Is the. Eddie? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Okay, try to do the example number three and number four, four guys, and send it to the chat, please. Okay. Adriana, I think your autocorrector <laughs> did you dirty. Washington, I don't think so. I'm sorry. <laughs> The windows need to be washed, Miguel. Remember that in the final part, 
we need the past participle, okay? The verb in the past participle. Okay, I only have Adriana one example and the other ones I'm still waiting. When, when it's plural, guys, the windows needs is not correct because the S is only when it's uh, singular of the third person, okay? So the windows need to be washed, yes. But the windows needs to be washed, no. Nope. Okay, guys, thank you. I think that all oh, the clothes need, need to be picked up. Yeah, need to be picked up. Or the clothes, clothes need picking up maybe, but needs to be picked up is better. Okay, guys, this is it for today. And I will see you guys on Monday. I didn't realize that it's 9.04. So we need to finish the class because obviously you need to, you have things to do, okay? So I will see you guys on Monday, okay? okay. Have a good night and okay, have a good teacher. weekend. Bye-bye. Work teacher. on the platform. Bye, always, always good night, Michelle. Good night. Okay.